This is the ESP32 cam, a device that costs less than $10 and can be used as a webcam, a security camera, for an IoT and with free software it can also do face detection and face recognition. Unlike many ESP32 models, it doesn't connect via USB. A USB to TTL serial connector is needed. This one worked well for me using 5 volts. This other one didn't work even when I connected at 5 volts. The connections look like this. The green connection is connected only when uploading the sketch. Programming the device requires the ESP32 environment to be set up in the Arduino IDE. In the file menu choose Preferences. Paste the text shown into the Additional Boards Manager URLs. Then go to Tools, Board, Boards Manager, type ESP32. Click install. Now if you go to tools, board, you will see a list of ESP boards that have been installed. If the ESP32 environment is already set up in the Arduino IDE, check that it's up to date. To configure the IDE for the ESP32 CAM, from the Tools menu, select ESP32 Rover module. Under Partition Scheme, select Huge App. Also check that the correct port has been selected. Navigate to the camera web server example. File, examples, ESP32, camera, camera web server. In the camera web server example, adjust the commenting to select the AI Thinker camera. Add the SSID and password for your Wi Fi network. Confirm that pin 0 is connected to ground and press the reset button. Press upload and wait for the sketch to upload to the device. In the IDE, open the serial monitor. Disconnect pin 0 from ground and press the reset button. Watch the serial monitor to see the IP address of the camera. If you don't get an IP address, check the IPEX connector on the board. If the jumper on the board is set for an external aerial, you may have to move the jumper or use an external IPEX Wi-Fi aerial. In the interface that opens in your browser, click Start Stream. It's possible to change the image size, brightness, contrast and other settings. You can also take still images.
To test face detection, select Start Stream and click the Face Detection option. The face detection works really well on this device. It's fast even with random images from a magazine. To set up facial recognition, select the face recognition button. Click the Enroll Face button. When a face is detected, the software makes various measurements of the face and stores them. Later, when the same face is shown to the camera, the software makes the same measurements and compares the face to a list of previous measurements. In the serial monitor you can see the current frame rate and also when a face is detected or recognised. 